Hey guys, this is Penny Pinchin Prepper here, and I just want to thank you for stopping by. Um, for those of you who are coming by for the first time, welcome. I hope you find something you like out of this, and consider liking and subscribing. For those of you who have uh, come back, thank you and welcome back. I greatly appreciate you guys. <clears throat> so today, I thought I'd do something a little different. Um, Seems like these prepping hauls seem to be on the rage, and I picked up a few things, and I thought I'd uh, share it with you, so let's just get into it. Um, I, know, I got all kinds of different stuff here, but to start off, um, got some denatured alcohol. Guys, this stuff is getting more and more expensive, so get it now. Um, not to mention, you know, who, who knows how readily available that's going to be anytime soon um you know that's if you guys uh don't know what this is good for in the prepping world um this is one of the best if not the best uh thing for alcohol burning whether it be your uh little transient stoves your uh pocket alcohol burners um whatever it may be uh that you want to create heat from a fuel source um, or a liquid fuel source this is one of the best ones for it um so i got some of that i needed it i got it um another thing i got um and if you guys have uh wood stoves um fireplaces um anything that takes you know or creates extreme heat you might want to pick some of this stuff up uh, just to have on hand in case you get a, a crack in your wood stove or um, you need to put the fiberglass um, uh, seal around it you know this is this is what you're going to need or a fireplace that's got a cracked brick this is what you want um, this is a 2000 degree uh caulking putty it's um pretty good stuff um actually it's it's really good stuff i mean up to 2000 degrees and it, it really does hold its bond very well uh so if you guys have one of those things you might want to pick some up and put it up on the shelf uh, along with um some uh, of the extra fiberglass rope i didn't get any of that but i need to um another thing i got was uh i pick these up sporadically all the time uh repair kits i like to have them on hand um and i like to have them everywhere and uh they're a great prep to have i, I actually got two different types i got one for your uh vinyl air mattresses um flotation devices stuff like that and then i got a bike repair kit and this works good for your uh your air mattresses and stuff like that but it also help for uh other things like um you know fixing a, a plastic tub that might have a small hole in it believe it or not a little patch kit like this will fix it up and allow you to use it for a little bit longer uh there's different types of repair kits out there i just happen to have grabbed these two um i got this for our bags and um uh, it's the tylenol pm and the reason i got this is i have regular tylenol and, and motrin and you know modium and all that but i didn't have anything to to help with getting some sleep after a, a hard day of work so i picked up some pm uh went by the dollar tree you know we, we all love the dollar tree and i i got a few things from there i can't go by the dollar tree and not pick up a, at least one pack of the chem lights um i i admit i'm kind of addicted to these things uh <laughs> I just like having them on hand. They're great to have, and I mean, they've got multiple uh, purposes from marking trails to giving a little bit of light. 
uh, attach one to your dog when you're camping, um, you know, all kinds of different things that you can use them for. I also picked up a couple packs of these uh, mini super glues. Um, I like to keep these on hand because they, they're great for, you know, throwing in your repair kit with these things. Um, they're also good to put in your first aid kit for emergency backup for a real bad gash that won't stop bleeding. Um, you know, little, little super glue. Now it is going to sting and it's not, you know, medical grade, um, you know, and you, you run risk you run a slight risk of infection depending on if you didn't clean it out or not before you did it and how well you take care of it after and um, how good your immune system is. So many things come into play, but in a pinch, this works great. Um, so I always pick up the miniature ones. Um, not to mention, you know, if you've got to leave your home and you're going to be away for a while, um, Better to have these little ones than open a big one and make a mess in your backpack with a big tube that it might accidentally get squished when you throw it down somewhere or something, right? <clears throat> so, the other thing I got, and I had to try them out, so they're, they're actually out, but I did get uh, a pack of these Strike Anywhere matches. It was a pack of 12 of them, I think. If I remember correctly, it might have been 10. Maybe it was only 10. Yeah, only 10. Um, so, uh, these are the, the Cartwright Strike Anywhere matches. Um, I've never tried them before until I got these. And to be honest with you, I like them better than the Diamond Strike Anywhere matches. They uh, tend to have a, a better amount of the the white stuff on the tip that makes it the strike anywhere compared to the diamonds. The, the diamond seems to have gotten pretty chimpsy on that and sometimes they don't always work. In fact, I'd say one out of three doesn't tend to work in my experience these days. So that was just some uh, another thing I grabbed because I wanted to try them and see if they were any better and they are. So they'll be rotated into my, my stuff. Um, and then I found these, and I'd never seen them before, but I think they're great, and they're individual pack hand sanitizers, and what I love about these is, like the super glue, only 10 times worse, because it's like 99% guarantee it's going to happen, that it's going to pop open on or in your backpack, or in your pocket, or in your survival kit, or whatever you have, the second you start, you know using the gear inside of that bag and you start moving stuff around it seems like without failure my little bottle of hand sanitizer always seems to break open so these little individual packets are great and the other thing is is they're really small like a ketchup packet or a mayonnaise packet or something like that you get 24 to a pack i got these at the dollar tree so a buck 25 but uh you can also put these in your fire kit um they're they're not gonna go uh they're not gonna dry up um as fast as those little squeeze bottles were or will and they're not as big and don't take up as much room so you can put a couple of two three of these in here and like take up no room in your fire kit compared to you know a miniature bottle of hand sanitizer so i thought that was a great find um so those will be making its way into my medical kits and stuff like that and replacing all my little uh, little bottles that I've always put in uh, my first aid kits, my, you know, everything that I've put hand sanitizer in. And then last but not least, um, if you're over here in the, the Northwest, um, we have a chain of stores uh, called Bimart. Um, it's uh it's a members only store but it's five dollars for a lifetime membership and uh they have some of the greatest prices on things um for an example uh all your ammunition is cheaper than anywhere else in town there um they run lots of good specials and deals um another thing is 
or what I'm getting ready to talk about, which is freeze-dried food. Um, I picked up a bucket of Mountain House. This is the, the classic meal edition. Um, and uh, I'm blocking my face, but I wanted you guys to get a semi-decent look at that. But, uh, so I'm going to squeeze in here between all this. Now I'm just going to put this down. But, um, Mountain House is, has gone up in price like everything else. And, um, I like getting at Buy Mart. If you guys have it in your area, check it out because, um, you save anywhere from 50 cents to $2 a, a pouch at Buy Mart compared to anywhere else except for maybe on Amazon. But that depends on who the seller is. Um, I get Mountain House for my freeze dried because I like it. It's good. It's full of nutrition and, and packed with protein. I mean, you get real vegetables, real meat. You get a lot of it. It's not just a bunch of fillers and kind of blandness. Um, some people say it's a little bit salty, but that's because it's a backpacking food. And when you're backpacking, you lose minerals salt replaces the minerals so it's one of those things that it helps you keep hydrated and keep those minerals up so you don't get you know fatigued and aches and pains when you're you're backpacking um i never recommend bucket food other than you know something like an actual brand like mountain house um, i think they're the only ones that make buckets um outside of people like ready wise and and uh, um, pay my Patriot Supply and, and those types of things. And I, I really don't recommend them. Um, and reason being is if you ever tried them, a lot of times the textures are bad. I'm a texture person and I think the textures are just horrible. Um, there's most of the time no meat or if there is meat, there's little meat, but a lot of times it's like chicken flavored and beef flavored. Um, it's not actual chunks of meat, and if there are, there are these little teeny tiny itty bitty little chunks of meat compared to Mountain House that gives you big real chunks of meat. Real whole slices of carrots, not little pieces of cubed carrots, you know, those types of things. So, it's a much better food. Um, you know, basically, if you wouldn't eat it before things got bad, then chances are you're not going to want to eat it until you're absolutely beyond starving and anything at that point tastes good and who really wants to be there so guys um look into your freeze-dried food try it compare it to other things i mean happy axe another good one peak refuels another good one these are real meals not just some what i would compare to institutional cafeteria food um which is to me what ready ha or ready wise and uh you know things like my patriot and and stuff like that it's like it's like cafeteria institutional food you know yuck we don't like to eat that so <laughs> compare it before you get it but guys this was actually a pretty good deal um this is uh 12 pouches it makes up 24 meals um, inside of it there is beef stew beef stroganoff uh, granola with blueberries and milk um, some spaghetti with meat sauce and uh, chicken fried rice um, and uh, that cost me um, $110. Honestly, not too bad um, when you think about most of them are going for around 10 to 12 50 a pouch. So you, you add up the math and, you know, I, I saved a, a few bucks getting it in the bucket. Um, so I was happy with that. Uh, guys, the other thing is, a lot of you might not know this, and since I've had a discussion about prepping on um, Social Security disability, um, I am the penny-pinching prepper. Uh, I'm all about budget and, and low income and helping those types of people out. 
If you did not know, if you go to, well, Bimart's one store, Walmart's another, um, I'm sure you guys might have other local stores that sells Mountain House, and in that same exact store, they also accept EBT. If that's the case, like Walmart accepts EBT, grub stubs, food stamps, whatever you want to call them, uh, <clears throat> Walmart accepts, accepts both those and sells Mountain House, so you can actually buy the Mountain House on your food stamps, grub stubs, EBT. So, uh, this is just one more way for those people who say, I can't prep, um, I don't have the money. Well, you can get some freeze dried food on food stamps. So, something to think about. Uh, other than that, guys, this video has definitely gotten long enough. I'm 15 minutes in. I didn't, you know, I just wanted to share um, what I got and what good uses are for it. And without that, I'm going to let you go. Remember to like, subscribe if you got anything out of this or if you haven't, you know, subscribed already. And remember, God's good and God bless.